Developing now, one Milwaukee teen is dead, another is injured, a third is in custody for shooting both of them. This all happened last night after a peace festival for teens. Fox's Durante Matthews joins us live with more on what those who put on the event are saying tonight about what happened. Well, Stefan said organizers with the This for the City Juneteenth Peace Day showcase tell me that the shooting was not related to the show. In fact, they say the event had already ended when bullets started flying on the other side of the park. A sea of people turned out for an intended day of peace at Washington Park Wednesday. For the most part of the event, the event was going well. Von Mays helped coordinate the youth-targeted event that brought out a crowd in the thousands. We wanted to promote peace and an educational aspect and a bunch of other aspects for Juneteenth. But he says, as expected, there were some people who showed up to cause trouble. They're coming to find people they have issues with. After a couple of fights, the show ended early. About half an hour later, on the other side of the park near 42nd and Lloyd. And then I heard those shots. More fights and bullets flying. We have two shooting victims in Washington Park. We have one at the playground, one on 40th. Police say a 17 year old started shooting what they believe was a fully automatic weapon, killing another 17 year old and wounding a 15 year old. A detective fired at the teen suspect but didn't hit him. Another detective arrested him. Unfortunate isn't the right word. It's infuriating. Chief Deputy Daniel Hughes says three guns were collected during the shooting and five from earlier. He also says the 17 year old was out on bail because of gun charges from May. We don't control the court system. We only make the arrests on the streets. During Thursday's cleanup, May said the shooting struck a nerve. Didn't sleep well last night. Um, especially when you hear about a loss of life. He says the shooting wasn't connected to their event, but helping the youth has to be a consistent community effort. Anytime you have any loss of life or any violence, it just shows us we have more work to do. Now, the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office tells us that this is the 13th child to be killed by gunfire in the county this year, which is actually an uptick from this time last year when they report there were only 11. Now, Mays tells me he is connecting with the family of the victim, and he also hopes to host this event again, but bigger and better next year. Reporting live at Washington Park, Durante Matthews, Fox 6 News.